vast armada of yachts, over 350, provided a magnificent spectacle as they set off on the 60-mile Round the Island race. Organised by the Island Sailing Club, the prize was the coveted Gold Roman Challenge Cup. A fresh westerly wind got the craft off to a brisk start. Expert seamanship was essential to avoid collision with the mass of boats on the water, but the skill was there and the yachts were racing. The cutter Lily made, slicing her way through the sea. From the Pathé News camera plane, a seagull's view of the battle for position. Nasty moments for the crews of both vessels, a near miss. And undaunted, competitors strained for every last bit of speed. Here's the cutter Outlaw putting on more sail. She finished third in her class. But here she is, Sir Max Aitken's American Design Sloop Roundabout, showing the speed which eventually made her undisputed winner. Her superiority over Yeoman 14th, overall second, though equally handicapped, was the talking point at Cowes. Showing the style which won her third overall place, S. Clark's Quiver 4. Chevalier, 25 tons of sheer grace and power, racing to the needles, where one of the most wonderful sights of yachting captured the eye as the spinnakers were hoisted, harnessing the following wind and showing their brilliant mass of colour. Nearing the finish, and for most, the only prospect left, to cross the line gallantly under full sail. At the Island Sailing Club, they were marvelling at roundabout. She'd won by a margin of 13 minutes, a race usually won in seconds. A magnificent victory for Sir Max Aitken in his brand new racing sloop, and certainly a proud moment as he received the Gold Cup from Mrs Lang, wife of the club's Vice Commodore. Good reason for Sir Max to celebrate. He's won the 30th contest for the Gold Cup. Roundabout is certainly a world beater.